Welcome to Computer Lab Technician course section 3. In this section, we will discuss imaging. So, what is imaging? Also called a disk clone, an exact copy of computer hard drive. The copy includes all the partitions, information, boot sector, the file allocation table, operating system installation, and application. In other words, whatever you install whatever information you put wherever setup you do on a computer after installation like adobe installation adobe reader flash antivirus whatever you put in there and you want you spend like one hour on that computer to set it up now when you do imaging you just get a same copy by using special tools software you do that process in 10 to 15 minutes that saves a lot of time for computer technicians this is a must-have um, computer imaging is a must-have skill for someone who is working in this field. Even in IT, just normal things you need to know about imaging. So just like in any other video, we have... Uh, oh, you guys can see me. Okay. So in other videos, we have, like, we have to explain things before we start things because this is a course. So if you are watching this video just for imaging, then you might want to forward this video or go to a different uh, section because in that we will be more technical about imaging. But before you start imaging, we need to teach you how to install an operating system and do the basic stuff to, to uh, do the pre-configuration before you do any imaging. So because you need a good image image meaning let's say for example this is a brand new computer i just got it from dell and dell will send you like let's say 10 computers for your lab either they will send you a computer with nothing on and then you install from a cd usb or other um, devices or they will already pre um, built installation inside the computer so you just turn it on and you see the dell welcome sign and then you name the computer uh, most most cases nowadays are like this they don't send any cds anymore they'll have a built-in backup then you do the whole other work about backing up systems and all that so that's just the beginning so let's say we got this machine and there's nothing in it because we need to teach you everything from basic so first thing you need to do is to install the operating system so let's start that so i have nothing Nothing in this machine right now and if there is something I need to remove it uh, and I got the CD which is basically Windows 7 32 bit I plug in the CD and you need to make sure you know how to get to your boot system so in HP it might be different in uh, in Dell I guess it's F12 it stays right on top F12 so you hit the F12 multiple times and then you get this prompt right there so what we need to do is we need to restart this machine from a CD and we click enter and then you can hear the CD is rolling right now. Press enter key and it will take us to the installation from the CD. So we will do this. This is a basic installation of how to do a Windows 7 um, installation on a computer. This is basic stuff right now we're doing but this is something that everybody has to go through. So like I said, you can they will either company will save your time by putting their image uh, on on it and then you do the rest, uh, or sometimes you do this process, send them a, a hard drive to the company and they do imaging all at once. They have some advanced tools. They will do 60 uh, images in a few minutes. So it's up to you. But we need to learn imaging on our own. So that's why we need to go through this process. For computer lab technician, you need to do this. While this is loading up, I just made my own way to explain imaging. Basically, what happens, you work on this computer right now. So let's say this computer is this yellow um, right there. This sign, this yellow one is this computer right here. And all these other computers are just like this yellow computer. So basically what happens is you you have a lab, you have this computer as your configuration, you put all the stuff in there, you install the windows, you install all the needed software for students and you whatever you do, updates and everything, you have done it with this one. Now imagine it took you about one and a half hour to do all this stuff. Are you gonna sit down and do the same process on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and Multiply this with how many labs do you manage? Do you manage six labs and has 30 computers? Then you multiply all this time with this. That's a lot of work. So that's why imaging 
comes very handy for someone working in this field. What you do, you create everything here. So you have done that time on there, you have spent your time on this machine right here, but then if you know about imaging, you create an imaging server. So this machine, let's say, it could be anything, Windows 7 machine, Windows 8 server, uh, and then you, whatever tool you pick, there are all, all various amount of tools, we will discuss that later on in this section, but this is just a video where you can explain things. So this, whatever you pick, let's say for example, I pick Fog or a Ghost or any other big imaging server, and I did my configuration on this server I installed everything then it comes with pieces depending on the uh, on the software so basic software basic imaging is you install something on this machine this becomes a server and then what happened then you have a CD so we'll call it this is a CD a restore CD okay and then you have a client right there so what you do is you install this on this server you go to that machine you you reboot this uh, machine from this CD and then you basically uh, drop that image to this server and then now you can reboot all these machines from the CD from here from here from here, all at once they all will connect to this server and this server will basically grab this image put it right here and somehow this will drop this image to all of these machines at once so if it's 10 at the same time, it will be imaging all these machines at the same time. That's the basic way of explaining, not, a, not the best way to explain imaging, but that's how it works. You have a server, you have a pre-built machine, whatever you did on this machine, you get it on this server, and this server have it now as a master image, and now this machine will send all the images to these machines right here. Depending on your method, depending on the software you use, you could do it by, or, um, by through the network without even going to these machines, or you plug in the CD and connect to this server, 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 and then grab the image, and then start the process. That's what we're going to do from this lecture. We will try to accomplish that. But before that, like I said, we need to finish the, the installation. We are configuring this machine right now. We are here. We are at this part. We are configuring everything in this machine. And then we are going to go to this part. We are going to be looking for a software to, to build a server here. And then at the end, we will get another computer as a testing machine. And then we will deploy these imaging, images to that. So now we're at the installation, I'm going to pick English, click next, and install now. Accept agreement, click next. I'm going to do custom, since I already have partitions in there, I am going to remove everything from here. So what I did, I clicked on the advanced settings, um, and now I'm going to format this because I don't want this partition and I'll tell you there's a data will only be lost so that's fine I don't want it I usually keep the one that's that came with from the factory in case my CD is not working or it's corrupted and now I'm just gonna go ahead and install my operating system on the primary one so now this process will take time once this is finished we will go into details like how do you update um, softwares quickly updates and everything and then part two we will get on our hands on uh, on the imaging software that we're going to be using for this course Alright, so our installation is done. Now you can name whatever over here. I'm going to quickly name it and then click on next. So I didn't put the password for now. I am going to say ask me later, which I'm going to configure it later on. 
I am in the Eastern, so I'm just going to pick the Eastern time. Just right here. And I'm going to click Next. So we got a fresh computer here with no um, software updates, nothing on it right now. Um, this is where it becomes tricky. You have everything right here now. Now, what comes after this is it depends where you work. So if you're working for a company that has students and it's like, let's say, um, nursing students and they use some type of nursing tools, you need to know all these softwares need to be on this machine and imagine after installation how much time does that take office itself can take a lot of time Microsoft Office it's like almost everybody needs that and then after that you have these updates common software like Adobe flash all that and you could you could make it easier for yourself and put a patch my PC a small software which I'm going to show you guys right now but like I said you know other software it depends on your company but all of this installation right now that I'm doing is imagine this is where I am right now. Remember we started from this. So I'm spending all this time to create this machine, a brand new fresh machine that is going to be my base master image that has everything. If something goes wrong or if something happened, I need to put it back on a different machine, then it has everything. So it saves me a lot of time. Imagine if I don't have anything like a imaging server or maybe an image that I can put on a USB and put this image on a USB and do it that way. If I don't have those both, both of these technologies, then what's going to happen is that I'm going to go through whatever I did. I'm going to go through on this machine, this machine, this machine, this machine, this machine. And it's going to be a lot of manual work. So that's the main idea of this video, introduction video, that try to understand what's going on here. Um, there's a there's a lot of things going on before when you do imaging and why is it important for you to learn about imaging so next what we're gonna do is I am just going to show you guys how to um, get the common software and get things going on first you need a connection and for that you need to turn on your Wi-Fi which needs the drivers Let's see if I already have this this should automatically pick it up but if not we need to do that uh, get uh, drivers online so I turn on my Wi-Fi so let's see if it's going to pick it up automatically so I say it's ready to use should give me a bar let me do this so to make things easier, I got the Ethernet connected to my modem right now and I am going to connect it to this computer so I can get the connection and update this machine. So there you go, I just plugged it in. As you can see from my laptop, I wasn't able to get the drivers automatically because maybe the CD is too old. So I need to go online and grab those from a Dell site. So you went to Dell, you put the computer name, the model number, and put drivers, and you will see this list. All I need is the network driver so that I can install it on my Dell machine right here. And then I can just turn on my Dell and do everything from that machine. But you can see the time right now. This is, this is what I'm talking about. The time you're spending to just create one machine and doing all this manual work. Are you going to do this for all of the machines? So that's the main thing that I'm going to uh, explain to the students that why you need imaging. So install the driver. I'm going to copy this to my USB. 